As The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel concludes airing its fourth season, Midge, Rachel Brosnahan, comes to an important juncture in her life. Joel, Michael Zijan, and May face a big decision of their own. The will they or won't they aspect of Midge and Lenny's, Luke Kirby, relationship, finally comes to an end. There is a medical emergency in the Maisel house, and we finally learn what character Milo Ventimiglia plays in the show. Here is everything you need to know about the ending of the marvelous Mrs. Maisel season 4 finale. What is Moisha's condition in hospital? Episode 8 of Marvelous Mrs. Maisel season 4 begins with Miriam and her family rushing to hospital to check on Moish. Shirley believes that Moish is going to die, while Miriam takes Joel aside who's distraught and is blaming himself for what's happened. Out in the hallway, Joel reveals that he blurted everything out about May and his predicament in quick succession. Shirley is encouraged to stay over at Miriam's for the time being. She's still hung up over Moish potentially dying, calling God cruel and pointing out she hasn't even been to Turkey with her husband like she planned either. The pair discuss the nature of death, with Abe convinced that he would be the one to die first rather than Rose. She promises to be there to help if Rose is the first to pass. What happens with May? How does she take Miriam's news? At Susie's office, the phone lines are ringing off the hook. Given her good work with Susie, and now Alfie hitting it off, she's a busy woman. Miriam manages to eventually get through to her though, asking for cover down at the club as she's bound to head back down to hospital. Unfortunately, Susie has no one she can offer. Funnily enough, Miriam meets May for the first time at the hospital. She wants to have a chat about their living arrangements and, specifically, how it's going to work with her own children. Miriam completely overwhelms May, who's left in stunned silence as the gravity of the situation hits home. Boise rings Miriam, telling her that things down at the club aren't going to plan and she needs to show up and salvage the situation. After all, there are a number of women in the club and they want to see her perform. Unable to get cover, she hurries back and agrees to do one set before leaving. Does Miriam get a big break? Miriam's stand-up gig is excellent, and it's taken a long time for us to actually get a riff on Miriam's feelings and thoughts this year. She discusses death, her father-in-law, and even calls Joel her husband correcting herself to call him ex-husband. Her entire set really strikes a chord with the audience. Backstage, she finds Lenny waiting for her. He apologizes for his rudeness several episodes ago and points out he has a big opportunity for her. He's received a call from Tony Bennett's people. The comic is doing five sold-out nights at the Copa and they wanted Lenny to open for him. However, he's already booked in Carnegie Hall, giving Miriam a massive opportunity. However, before she can give her answer, the place is raided by cops and they're forced to leave. Lenny and Miriam eventually reconvene in the former's hotel room. Sparks fly and the pair hook up and make love. However, Miriam notices medicine in Lenny's bag, but he shrugs it off, encouraging her not to worry and that everything is okay. But is it really? How does Moish react to Joel's news? At the hospital everything is okay there too. Moish is still alive and certainly not dying after all. Abe, flustered, shows up with Moish's obituary in his hand. Abe is encouraged to read it, and he struggles to hold it together as he calls Moish a good man and that he'd miss him very much if he passed. Everyone begin talking amongst themselves as Moish mouths a thank you to Abe. Given all their hardships and ups and downs across the season, this is a big step for them. It also seems like there's a newfound respect between the pair now. Meanwhile, Moish heads home and speaks to Joel about May. He doesn't care that she's Chinese and wants them both to be happy. As for Shirley though, that's a whole different subject. In the room next to theirs though, Abe embraces Rose and encourages her to keep going with her matchmaking business. This inevitably causes issues with the other ladies, who all receive a letter from her. We're at war. One of them ominously retorts, leaving this open for season 5. Why does Miriam refuse to warm up for Tony Bennett? Miriam shows up at Susie's office with the big news about her playing for Tony Bennett. Susie urges Miriam to take this up but she refuses. After all, her whole plan this year has been not to be an opening act, so she turns down this massive opportunity. 
Frank and Nikki think she should do it, but Miriam is dead set on not breaking her promise. Lenny Bruce ends up doing his gig at Carnegie Hall. His stand-up is a massive success, and he even gets a standing ovation too. Things have obviously gone really well, and Lenny revels in the glory of it all. Is Lenny's show a success? Backstage, Lenny meets Miriam, but he's not happy with her. He worked hard to get her the Bennett job, and her nonchalantly shrugging it off in the way that she did has really rubbed him up the wrong way. With no opening act gigs and refusing to fly out to Croatia, Lenny confronts her and reminds her of the business they're in. Lenny tells Miriam to stop hiding and to claw her way back to the top, even if it means she's arrested every night. 90% of this game is how they see you. Lenny reminds her, pointing out that there was a time when Miriam wanted to be a comic and not just funny. If she's hanging with Tony Bennett then she looks like she deserves to be there. If she's doing gigs in a strip club, then that's all people will ever see of her. Will Midge appear in the Gordon Ford show? Shy Baldwin leaving her behind on the tarmac has a deep effect on Midge. She also has to deal with the fact that most comedy venues don't want to provide her with a platform, not because she uses risque humor, but because she uses risque humor despite being a female comic. This is one of the main reasons she starts performing at the Wolford. The burlesque strip club allows her to be herself and say whatever she wants. However, she must know that this can be a permanent solution. Midge knows that opening for Tony Bennett is an incredible opportunity, but she lets it go because of her prior experiences. Susie is absolutely furious about this, but she has no choice but to comply with her client's wishes. After his successful outing at the Carnegie Hall, Lenny takes Midge to the stage and demands to know her reasons. As a comic, Midge has always looked up to Lenny and his ability to be a social rebel and disruptor. But Lenny makes her see that, at least for him, the most important thing is to make people think and laugh. It seems that Lenny recognizes his own issues and realizes that he has become chained to them. There are also references to drug abuse. The last thing he wants for Midge is to take the path he has taken, because he knows what's waiting for her on the other end if she does. He leaves her then, standing alone on the stage of the Carnegie Hall. The seats are empty for now but will not be forever. Midge has to understand that failure is part of the package. If she wants to be successful in the comedy business, she has to accept that and then ignore that, so the Carnegie Hall will fill up for her one day. The ending scene seems to imply that Midge has decided to pursue success once more. In the snowy evening, she stands looking at a sign for the Gordon Ford show. She knows that an appearance on the talk show will be a perfect stepping stone. Susie already knows a booker from that show, Mike Carr. If Midge brings in certain changes to her routine, she will start performing in the main venues of New York again, where Carr can come and watch her sets. Does Rose stop being a matchmaker? In season 4, Rose discovers that she has a natural talent for matchmaking. She also happens to really love doing it. Soon enough, she begins drawing the attention of the mothers of most single women of the Upper West Side. However, after the rich and influential Mr. Melamed contacts her, the matchmaking mafia comes calling, demanding her to stop. Five women run the entire matchmaking business in Manhattan, and they don't intend to tolerate competition. Afraid for her family, Rose initially decides to give in to their demands and shut down her business for good. However, Midge helps her see that certain things are worth fighting. As the season ends, Rose sends replies on scented papers, telling those women that she will not stop and effectively declaring war. How does Marvelous Mrs. Maisel season 4 end? Lenny's words hit home, and as they stand on the stage together talking, Miriam realizes that he's right and thinks twice about her plan. With a blizzard raging outside, she sees a sign a massive billboard for the Gordon Ford show. This seems to hint that Midge is going to try and go the same route as Sophie, heading on to the talk show that ignited her career and trying to follow suit. We've seen things dip and weave between good and bad, but it would seem season 5 will actually start to improve Miriam's prospects and really pick things up. Finally someone has come out and said exactly what Miriam needed to hear. She has to go out and work to make it to the top, and that's something she hasn't done this year. 
She's been plating the pity party over Baldwin for a good chunk of the season, and then messing up the gigs that she has been given, refusing to head abroad or do opening gigs. With the show already renewed for a fifth season, season four feels like a stop gag in Miriam's journey back to the top, and I'd imagine season five will actually showcase a bit more stand-up comedy, which is something we haven't seen a whole lot of this year. The story involving Moish having a heart attack feels like a ploy just to bring tension into the story, and in the end, he doesn't even care that May is Chinese. The whole subplot with Joel feels wasted, and in fact it's left unresolved by the end, because we don't actually see Shirley learn the truth. We also don't see May again really after her shock reaction in hospital, and she could even call the whole thing off too, if she ends up that spooked. Despite its flaws, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel has been a decent watch, and while it hasn't fired on all cylinders like seasons past, it's been good value for its eight episodes all the same. This finale rounds things out nicely, leaving the door wide open for where this may go next. Will the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel be back for season 5? Yes, Midge will be back for a fifth season of Amazon Prime Video's hit comedy drama, with the streamer announcing the good news in February. The bad news is that the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel's fifth season is set to be its last. Head of Amazon Studios, Jennifer Sackey, said in a statement. Amy, Dan, and the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel have blazed an unparalleled path, elevating the stories we tell about women, challenging the norms in our industry, and forever altering the entertainment landscape with their one-of-a-kind storytelling. The dozens of awards cement Maisel's legacy in many ways, but what's even more enduring and poignant are the characters Amy created and the joyous, brilliant, singular world she and Anne brought to life, she added. This series has meant so much to Prime Video, and the effects of its success will be felt long after its final season. I can't wait for fans and our worldwide Prime Video audience to savor each moment as we embark on the culmination of this groundbreaking and unforgettable series. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel Season 5 release date speculation, Amazon Prime Video has not yet shared a release date for The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel Season 5, and there's so far been no update on when production is going to begin. It's hard to predict when exactly the Rachel Brosnahan comedy drama will return as the pandemic delayed season four by two years. That being said, there has usually been a year-long gap between each season. As long as there are no longer any COVID-related production delays, then we can expect the marvelous Mrs. Maisel season five to arrive at some point in 2023. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel Season 5 plot, with the fifth season set to be The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel's final outing, hopefully, we'll see Midge's comedy career continue to thrive as she recovers from being sacked by Shy Baldwin in Season 4. With Malin, Stephanie Sue, telling Joel, Michael Zijan, in Episode 6 that she's pregnant, I'm sure the final series will explore their relationship further as they try to make their new family situation work. Meanwhile, Susie, Alex Bornstein, will probably try to juggle managing Midge's career alongside Sophie Lennon's Jane Lynch, while Rose, Marin Hinkle, continues with her successful matchmaking business and Abe, Tony Schalhaub, tries to finish his book and pursue his dreams of being a theater critic. Fingers crossed Midge finds romantic happiness in season 5 as well. Many fans are still waiting for her to finally get together with Lenny Bruce, Luke Kirby, but perhaps Dr. Benjamin Ettenberg, Zachary Levi, will make a reappearance, who knows, 